we do Propel and or we give the VPRO5 for free for anyone who pays in full. So mm -hmm. a lot of patients are incentivized to pay in full and then they're done quicker. But the biggest game changer in my practice lately are the class three cases. Like my class three cases are so crazy. Like these are full on surgical <laughs> cases where they're adults and they, they need to do surgery. They've already taken out bicuspids. I can't help you. And I'm able to distalize in the lower arch, like fully exactly like the ClinCheck with Propel. Like when you don't do the mops, you may not get as much distalization on the lower, but when you do the mops, you're able to distalize on the lower and protract the upper sequentially and correct these crazy class three cases, like within a year, which is crazy. Thank you for you on that, Bella. Um, I, I have done some really dramatic class three changes too. And when I've been doing some of the superimpositions to try to see what actually is happening, it really mimics uh, distalization and meow mechanics. Yes. And I'm seeing the occlusal plane rotator. Is that what you're seeing? Too? I see that as well, but I'm actually seeing like the molar is distalizing one by one. I can distalize it like three to five millimeters, like a whole tooth. So on my full cusp class twos, I'm distalizing fully. And what, if you don't track, this has been the big game changer because for my Invisalign study club is we're doing lingual attachment in addition to the buccal attachments. So that way you can keep the molars upright and move them bodily. So I'll put like a rectangular or diagonal attachment and then just put like a beveled one on the lingual, on the canines. Like even a premolar is not tracking. If you add a lingual, a small attachment on, you'll move that tooth bodily and it tracks a lot better. And you can protract canines, like push the upper two to two together, then move the canine forward one by one on the upper and just lies on the bottom. And in these cases where is you get the mu effect probably for the teens, for sure, if you're just running class three elastics and not distalizing bodily. But when I'm changing my treatment plan and using mops, I'm distalizing sequentially to like move asymmetrical midlines over and things like that. It's been really crazy, but it's been a game changer by doing the mops and adding lingual attachments.